What is up guys? I'm back again. It's been a little while since I posted anything, uh, but today we're going to be doing some cosmetic stuff for the uh, two-door Tahoe. So I, I was able to pick up a front grill from a GMC. I only went with the GMC grill because I already have a Chevy grill on my actual truck and it is a Chevy. They're both Chevys. I got a Chevy Tahoe and a Chevy short bed single cab, but I wanted something a little bit different. So I picked up a GMC grill just to offset it from my truck so we're gonna try that out but uh, I couldn't find one that matched the paint of the Tahoe so I was able to pick up some paint from uh, just AutoZone some cheap paint I color matched it to this is the uh, dupla color and this is the uh, the Olympic white which matches the Tahoe that's the part number there right That would be the part number there. And that's the dupli color, the perfect match. And I also got some clear, just to clear the front end of the grill. But we gotta prep the grill, so we gotta scuff it down and uh, shoot some primer on it, and then we're gonna shoot some white paint on it to make sure it sticks and see how it looks. So let's quit wasting time, let's get to it. Okay guys, we're gonna sand down and scuff this up. Scuff down all the paint, because it is uh, original, it's an original grill. Uh, but we're, we're not going to be taking out the insert of the GMC only because, let me flip this around. This grill is original and the way they install these, they actually insert them and melt the tabs there, there, all the way around. So in order for you to get this grill out, you actually have to break it out. Break it out and then there's kind of, uh, you have to melt some more plastic to get it back in, which I'm not going to be doing that. I'm not going to be using this grill. But I don't want to destroy it either, so we're just going to work around it. I got some uh, some 320, 320 grit sandpaper and a scuffing pad. So we're going to use a little bit of water. And we're just going to try our best to avoid, uh, avoid the grill. But we don't we don't want to take off all the paint we just want to scuff it up to where uh, we get down to a nice paintable surface so and the only reason I went with one of these um, price is a lot cheaper and uh, second factor that just the aftermarket just sucks so this is an original GMC grill came off of uh, Suburban or Yukon. Either way, made by GM, so same thing. Like I said, just give it a quick uh, scuff. Don't gotta get crazy with it, but definitely want to, the new paint to stick.
Okay guys, real quick, everything's sanded down as good as it's gonna get. So we scuffed everything up as best I could. But we're gonna tape up the grill. Um, I'll show you a quick tip, how I do it. Again, I'm not a professional, I just wanna show you the way, uh, what works for me and what I do. So I'm gonna lay it down. flat and then we're going to lift up this edge and I'm just using a razor blade scraper from Harbor Freight this actually fits in this little wedge perfect so I'm just going to smash it down in there Then I'm going to take the other end and just run it along the edge. Take off your tape and you should have a pretty straight line. There's a little bit here. There you are. Keep on doing that all the way around the grill. And then we'll put some paper or some more tape in the middle just to cover it up. And we'll get painting on this thing. Okay guys, we're going to start painting this. I am not going to spray primer on this. I prepped this as best I could. And I feel that it being plastic, it should hold. So we'll see if it does. So we're going to go straight to paint. So we'll start with a very light coat. Okay guys, 
the paint has settled and I probably shouldn't be painting this late but uh, it got laid on me so we're gonna clear it real quick if I have a flashlight let's see Okay guys, we're gonna put the new grill on. So all these lights have to come out and this old grill has to be removed. So the first thing we're gonna take off is the bottom, bottom lights. Okay, and typically we have a uh, series of bolts. So we should have one there, one there, one there. There is one there, and then one more in the grill, which is broken. So all those have to be removed. In my case, uh, one has to be removed. So let's get that. And of course, corner lamps come out. Grill is out, and then we have to be, uh, we have to take out the headlights as well. We're replacing these with some, just some OEMs. We have uh, 10 millimeters, four of them. Okay, so we have four of them. Okay, don't forget to unclip your bulbs. This is trash to me. If you have these lights, uh, they're really bad quality and they always turn yellow. So uh, the reason I'm changing them is because they're super yellow and I just want some OEM lights again. So we got those. Okay guys, before these go back in, make sure you plug in all your clips. Low beam, high beam.
All your bolts go back in. that off. Same thing goes with the other one. Alright guys, we finished that just in time, sun's going down, but uh, gave the truck a whole different look, let's check it out. Doesn't look so broke down anymore, I got some steelies on it, so uh, we'll be changing those out. But overall, it looks pretty good. Still need to do some adjustments on the headlights. All right, guys. That's going to be a wrap for this one. As you saw in the video, uh, we were successful. I think it looks pretty good. It looks something different. I wanted a GMC grill only because I already have a Chevy uh, grill on my truck. So I wanted something a little bit different. I didn't want them to look exactly the same. And this is going in the opposite direction. So this truck is going to go up instead of going down, obviously. But uh, yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think. And uh, the reason I'm working on this uh, currently is because it's going to be my new daily. Hopefully, we'll see. We'll see how it works out. If not, we'll get rid of it and get something else. But uh, I am waiting on a torque converter for my 4L ADE. That's why I haven't shown anything lately, but uh, I do have a video coming up. It is pretty, pretty long. I'm not sure if I'm going to cut that down or not just yet, just because I am not a transmission builder. I don't claim to be. I just like to share the stuff that I'm doing with you guys and give you a little insight on how to, how to do things, little tricks and tips and all that good stuff. But I think I'm going to cut it down. Maybe we'll see. We'll see how it comes out. Um, hopefully it comes out good. But I'm still waiting on that damn torque converter. It's been over a month now. So uh, that's all I'm waiting for. And then we'll tear apart the truck and then slap in the LS and 4L80E. 
And uh, that'll be that. But uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Again, make sure you comment, like, share, and subscribe. Also, follow me on my Instagram at lowlifeyonkis. Uh, you will see a lot of pictures on there. Um, I do upload a lot of stuff before I get to upload anything to YouTube. So make sure you follow that page or my page, actually. And uh, again, I'll catch you guys very shortly on the next one.